Hi guys, it's Lindsay and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are styling more outfits for fall and winter featuring three of my favorite pairs of Doc Martens for all of the outfits. I could not be more excited to be working with them. I've been wearing Docs for nearly a decade and I'm actually going to be wearing my first ever pair of Docs, my 1468 i smooth leather combat boots. And they're really what you think of when it comes to Doc Martens. They're such an iconic silhouette and they are so durable. They're made to last and it's just such a timeless look. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys how I style them today because I did make a video almost 10 years ago talking about how I used to love to style them. You can really see how well loved and worn in my pair is. I wear these every fall and winter with thick socks. They are perfect for really any kind of weather that the season through throws at you, but I'm also going to be showing off my Adrian tassel loafers in this cherry red color, which just add so much personality and edge to any outfit. They're also super comfortable. I got them last fall and it just took one season to break them in. And the 1461 Bex Oxfords, which are a really classic lace up Oxford that I've had for at least four years and they are still just as comfortable and cute as day one. Now to get onto the outfits, I have styled three looks for each shoe so you can get a range of how I would style them along with more fall outfit inspo. For my first outfit styling the 1460s, I am wearing some low slung wide leg jeans with a knit long sleeve sweater. In the fall and winter, I feel like a cable knit or waffle long sleeve is a great way to add just a little bit more interest as opposed to a plain t-shirt or a really like smooth sweater. So I love the texture there and this little skinny belt just to bring a little bit more interest in and also to tuck in the waist a bit because I am wearing an oversized jacket with a baggy jean, which can sometimes feel a little bit like you're drowning in fabric. So just wearing a little belt reminds you that you have a waist. And I also just love the look of a skinny belt with a big jean. Like a thick belt with this just wouldn't, wouldn't really make sense. Another way I like to style my 1460s is with a long silk skirt and an oversized sweater. This silhouette is just so comfortable and chic for fall and winter. And if you live somewhere a lot colder than I do, you could always do a fleece line tight under this or add on a pea coat or a trench coat. I think it's so cute the way that the skirt just grazes the top of my docks. I just got this skirt and it is already quickly becoming my favorite skirt that I own. And I obviously had to style my 1460 boots with some sheer tights because that has always been one of my go-to ways of styling them. But instead of just throwing on a sheer black tight like I always do, I am wearing sheer burgundy tights. And I feel like burgundy is always in in the fall. It's, it's a staple, but wearing it in a tight is something new and fresh that I am just, I'm in love with. And then I have on this very large sleeve turtleneck sweater dress, which has a lot of volume. And so I think wearing tights and a tight boot around the ankle looks really good with it. I also tend to put my hair up when I have such large turtlenecks on, which is partially just like a sensory thing. Next, I'm going to be styling three outfits with the tasseled Adrian loafers from Doc Martens. These are in a very similar burgundy wine color to my tights. So I actually wanted to throw them on with this outfit just to show you what they looked like together because I think it'd be really cute. I love that. I just switched around some of the outfits on my rack so I could wear these sheer tights again with the burgundy shoes because it is just like a celebration of burgundy and I love it. I also love wearing my summer mini dresses with tights in the fall and throwing on a nice big oversized blazer. My blazer is vintage and it actually has tiny red lines in the plaid. So it really perfectly goes with the tights and when you button it up, it kind of looks like a blazer dress, which I also think is very charming. 
For this next look, I wanted to lean into the preppy look of these tassel loafers by wearing a sweater vest. And I feel like a sweater vest can be done right with a oversized jean. So it's feeling very modern. It's not feeling stuffy. I also put on a burgundy belt, but I feel like the belt is optional. It also looks cute untucked. And I feel like a small detail, but important detail is to wear the right size t-shirt under it. I originally put this on with a baby tee and the sleeves were just way too short. And so if you're gonna wear a kind of oversized silhouette sweater vest, make sure that your t-shirt is slightly oversized as well. And then for accessories, I have my brown suede bag and these slightly chunkier tortoiseshell glasses, both an accessory and a tool. I do wear glasses, but I like to switch them up sometimes when the outfit calls for it and I feel like they, they really go with this look. And for another option, styling the Adrian loafers that is not jeans, I am wearing these gorgeous silk drawstring pants, and I feel like this is the fall equivalent of my linen drawstring pants that I wear all spring and summer. I'll even wear my linen pants in the fall with a sweater, but I wanted to do something different today, so I'm wearing these gorgeous silky brown pants with a fuzzy cardigan sweater and a little white baby tee. It actually feels like I'm wearing pajamas, but the materials make it look really elevated along with the loafers, which are always my go-to when I want to make an outfit look more put together is to throw on a loafer. Now for a few looks with the Doc Martens Bex Oxford, which is such a fun shoe because from the top, it looks like the 1460 combat boot, but from the side, they're obviously a pair of lace up oxfords and they're really fun to wear because you can do a pop of color sock or just wear them like i am with some trousers these were my go-to shoes when i was working in an office because not only are they put together and polished but they offer just that little bit of edge because of the yellow stitching you know they're doc martens and so that's why i wanted my first look with these to be office appropriate and something that i think anyone could wear into the office or in your day-to-day -day life if you just like feeling a little bit more put together. I'm wearing some mid-rise trousers and a polo, which I think polos are about to have their moment. And this is how I would style it for a bit more of a put together occasion. The next two outfits are definitely more casual. I just had to style the suede jacket one more time. And this is one of, oh, where is that sun coming from? Sorry. We are having a sunspot on the floor. Please excuse any sunshine. I am wearing a black tight mock neck with a little wool mini skirt. And this has to be one of my favorite outfit formulas in the fall and winter. This would also be really cute with my burgundy tights, but I did already tear them with my nails, so. I won't be putting them on again today. And the last outfit in today's video is what I am gonna wear for the rest of the day. And that is just some vintage Levi's, this slimmer cut sweater, my burgundy belt, and the 1461 Bex Oxfords. This is just a very classic me outfit. And sometimes I feel like this could be too boring to even include in the video, but it is realistic and and also super easy to recreate at home, which is always important to me with these videos and that you can mix and match truly all of these pieces over and over again. So if you're interested in any of the shoes that I featured in this video, I will have them linked in the description. Thank you so much to Doc Martens for sponsoring today's video and I will see you with some new styling content very soon. Here's a little goodbye from Sammy too. She's been watching from the sidelines today. She's a sleepy girl.